I'd now like to invite Scott Mitchell to the podium to add his perspective, a student perspective, on this important occasion. Scott is a dual degree student from Bowdoin College who will be awarded a BE with a concentration in biomedical engineering tomorrow. Intent on helping others throughout his time at Dartmouth, Scott turned his Engines 21 introductory design project, a low cost, comfortable standing frame for children with disabilities into a nonprofit organization, Stand With Me, that produces the standing frame in Guatemala, Honduras, and Peru. So far, Stand With Me has distributed more than 200 standards to children in six countries. Scott also co-founded the company PopFlow to develop a self-monitoring cerebral shunt valve you heard about earlier today that he started working on as his capstone design project. After graduating tomorrow, Scott will start medical school this fall. Scott? Welcome my fellow graduates, my family, your families, and all of our friends. It's been said that we Thayerites are a different species than the rest of this campus. The reasoning is, we do such a good job at both temporally and spatially isolating ourselves in Thayer that evolution is just able to do its thing. <laughs> it's true, we have a little niche here. Most of us have converted to being fully nocturnal by now, and if that wasn't enough, we have selected a nesting place that is sheltered by the giant white pillars of Tuck to the north, an ancient cemetery to the south and east, and an expansive river to the west that I hear people can only cross naked. <laughs> I mean, what other species gets all riled up and excited about using dry spaghetti and a piece of string to put a marshmallow out of reach? Everyone else is trying to figure out how to boil the spaghetti and eat the marshmallow. The different, <laughs> the different species hypothesis is further supported by the fact that we share a common ancestor, Thayer School itself. Whether you are an MEM, a dual degree, BE, MS, or PhD, I'm sure that you've come to recognize Thayer as a surrogate mother of sorts. She has clothed us in Thayer gear and generated little activities to bring our friends to, like Professor Diamond's walking beast jousting competitions. <laughs> she has nourished us with free food, good enough to impress the Board of Overseers, although we have had to forage from the vending machines on occasion. She has plastered our photos all over the place, like refrigerator magnets highlighting our every accomplishment. She has even tucked us in for naps on the atrium couches, or on occasion, even in class. Nurtured as this different species, we have acquired unique abilities. The qualities that we have developed here have set us apart as capable leaders and passionate doers. We have not only gained skills, but the confidence to put those skills to good use and make an impact on areas that matter to us and our communities. Without the incredible network of support and guidance at Thayer School, I would have never thought it possible for my class project to impact the lives of children suffering from cerebral palsy a world away, or for my peers to develop autonomous sailboats and radio-controlled airplanes capable of delivering medical supplies to people in remote regions. With such experiences and many more in our repertoire, some of which you heard about tonight, today, I am confident that we are finally prepared to serve as the most capable and faithful for the most responsible positions and the most difficult service. It is now our turn to spread our wings and leave the lovely little nest that we have called home for so long. But don't worry, unlike our actual mothers, Thayer won't suffer from empty nest syndrome. <laughs> with the incoming classes, Thayer will have new students to keep her halls resounding with chatter and the 3D mice in CAD lab whirling until the wee hours of the morning. Congratulations, Thayer class of 2016, we're about to be released into the wild. <laughs> Thank you. 